What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about a modification that should be done on pretty much every single Forerunner GX470 or FJ Cruiser that gets a lift kit. So if you guys have one of those vehicles, make sure you guys continue watching this video. So we are currently under the Lexus GX470. We're gonna be showing you this part here. So this bar here is called the Panhard bar and it goes from one end of the axle all the way to the other side, which is connects to the frame of the truck. This bar has really one main purpose, and that purpose is to keep the axle centered with the entire truck. So without this bar, the whole axle would just shift from side to side when you guys are driving. So that could be dangerous. So without this, really a car wouldn't be really safe to drive on the road. So when you guys are doing a lift, you guys need to correct the geometry of the panhard bar to keep everything, I guess, as safe as possible. So you guys can kind of see the angle that this bar has right now. So at ride height, the bar should be almost as parallel to the ground as possible. So when you guys are doing a lift kit, whether it's a two inch lift or a three inch lift, it will change the angle of this. The more lift you have, it, the more of an angle it will have on the bar. And what that will do when you guys are driving down the road, for example, if you hit a bump, on the road, the, act the rear axle will actually shift to the passenger side when you guys hit that bump, just because it is fixed way over here on the, uh, the frame side. So when you hit a bump, this whole axle will shift this way and it'll kick the back axle to the passenger side. And like I said before, the more lift you have in the back, the more you will feel that. So technically speaking, you want the panhard bar to be perfectly parallel to the ground when you guys are at half travel. But to, just to make things easy, it is easier to think about when the vehicle is on the ground and the pan hard bar is as leveled as possible with the ground. Another really big important reason you guys want to fix this geometry is because of roll steer. And what that is is when you actually turn, the vehicle is going to want to roll more towards that way. So we're going to be showing you a video when we're on a trail and we didn't have this modification done to our Forerunner yet and it caused the whole vehicle to almost flip. So we're going to show you guys that right now. That's scary. So as you guys saw in the video there, what happened is that when we were turning right or towards the passenger side, the whole panhard bar was completely lifted off of the passenger side. And that is the side that it actually pivots on, which caused us to roll even more. So if we would have fixed that issue to begin with, then we wouldn't have had that issue and almost flipping the Forerunner. So now that we have shown you guys the issue, we're gonna show you guys the fix for it. So in my hand here, I have the I'm Keith Panhard Correction Kit. So this kit here will be welded on to the actual side of the axle where it has the Panhard bar and it has two extra holes to allow you to adjust your Panhard bar angle. So this will fix the issue of the Panhard bar being too much of an angle and it will bring it down where it would be almost leveled with the ground. So now we're going to be showing you guys what the panhard bar looks like on the 5th gen 4Runner at right height. So you guys can see that it's currently on the rack right now. So we're going to zoom in and show you guys the bar. So first thing you guys will notice is how rusty and crusty Andy's 5th gen 4Runner is. This is probably the worst amount of rust that I've seen on a vehicle um, that has been through our shop. So. Yeah, I don't know where he bought his Forerunner, but that's a whole different story. But as you guys can see here, at ride height, this bar is at a pretty high angle. So we're actually gonna grab an angle finder and show you guys that. So we have an angle finder here. Um, our rack, it is at zero degrees. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and zero that out and then bring it up here. So Andy's 
pan hard bar is about six degrees of an angle where it should be close to zero. So Andy currently has about a three inch lift um, with the Dobinson's coils. He might be a little bit um, over or under depending on the weight that he has in here. He has a C4 rear bumper, um, spare tire, and a bunch of weight on it. So he might be just a little bit under, a little bit under, over three inches. But you guys can see here, he is at six um, degrees of angle for his panhard bar. So Andy will definitely need that panhard correction kit to fix that. So what we're gonna be doing now is pretty much mocking it up and getting ready to weld. So Mitch here is our master welder. He's gonna get it nice and pretty. So what we've done is that we have beveled the corners of the actual kit so that way we can lay the beads in there nicely because what we've seen on the internet is that it kind of just rolls over and doesn't really look super pretty um it's kind of what is on our fj cruiser right now so we are doing it just a little bit different just to make it look more um, like a finished product when it's done All right, so we have it all welded up here. Turned out really nice, nice and strong welds. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be using some steel it. This is a stainless steel paint. We don't ever use just normal paint because it doesn't last very long and this stuff lasts really long. So now that the uh, kit has cooled down a little bit, we'll go ahead and spray it. That way it doesn't rust. All right, so we have painted it with the steel it, stainless steel paint. Now we are installing the track bar. And on our Lexus GX470, we are doing a long travel rear suspension. So that's why we have an adjustable track bar and a couple other adjustable bars as well. But if you guys are just doing a normal lift, you guys won't have to have an adjustable pen hard bar. So we are pretty much done here. So once we have this fully installed here, we should be almost parallel with the ground at right height. All right, so you guys can kind of see here, we have the track bar in, and there is a angle on it right now, just because we are still installing the um, lift kit in the rear here. As you guys see, the rear shocks are not even installed yet. So it looks like we are almost at full droop. So this thing is almost at where Andy's is on his truck. I think it's about five degrees right now. So that's pretty good for being almost at full droop. So we'll be able to show you guys this when we're all done with it, which will probably be in another day or two. So if you guys would like, we can do another video to show you guys the update on these when it's on the ground. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Unfortunately, we weren't able to show you guys the GX completely done and put it on the ground so that way you guys can see how level the track bar is. But I will put articles down in the description so if you guys would like to take a look and do some more research on it. But a lot of people have been doing it from a third gen, 4Runner, 4th gen, 4Runner, 5th gen, Lexus GX 460, 470, and then of course the FJ Cruiser. So if you guys have any of those vehicles, this kit will work for your vehicle and it will correct the geometry in the panhard bar. So hopefully you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you guys are not, make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.